so recall is also known as tpr that is true positive rate which means out of the total positives at what rate we are predicting those correctly so it's two positive upon two positive plus false negative that is total positives actual total positives and predicted positives out of these so then we have something called false positive rate and false positive rate is out of all the negatives how many false positives we have so false positive upon false positive plus two negatives is known as false positive rate so if you look at the confusion matrix true positive rate is nothing but x1 upon x1 plus x3 and false positive rate is x2 upon x2 plus x4 so we can see that we want our model in such a way that false positive rate is minimum and true positive rate is maximum so, you, so we want to minimize x2 and we want to maximize x1 and as we increase the threshold that is uh, f of x which is sigma of w transpose x and if we have a threshold like greater than or equal to t we predict in a positive class if it's less than t this value is less than t we predict into a negative class and as we increase this threshold t what happens is that we are predicting more and more items into the negative class because threshold t is increasing so we can say we are predicting less and less items into the positive class and that's why false positive decrease and uh, two positive also decrease so overall number of positive examples decrease so both two positive and false positive decrease but we have to choose the threshold t in such a way that the decrease in false positive is much higher than the decrease in true positive so let's say we have on the x-axis threshold and let's say the red curve denotes false positive rate and the blue color denotes true positive rate So we will choose a threshold like that where true positive rate is higher and a false positive rate is lower. So something like that. So here false positive rate is quite low and true positive rate is quite high. And we can choose this threshold to define our logistic regression classifier. So this threshold can also be seen in terms of another curve known as ROC curve. So ROC curve is a curve between true positive rate and false positive rate. So let's say on the y-axis we have true positive rate and on the x-axis we have false positive rate. And let's say we are increasing the threshold and initially we know that for a very low threshold the true positive rate and false positive rate would both be very high so let's say we get a point something like that so since true positive rate and false positive rate are ratios they always lie between 0 and 1 so let's say initially both the true positive rate and false positive rate is very high as we start increasing the threshold the true positive rate and false positive rate start decreasing slowly and slowly So both the true positive rate and false positive rate are decreasing but ideally the true positive rate should decrease by lower amount and false positive rate should uh, decrease by a very high amount. 
so let's say at this point after that the true positive rate is decreasing and false positive rate is not decreasing that much so we can look at this point something here so up till here as we were going increasing the threshold up till here the true positive the decrease in true positive rate was not much but decrease in false positive rate was huge but after this point the decrease in true positive rate has dramatically increased and the decrease in false positive positive rate is relatively low low so whatever the threshold was there for that point is something we can choose for our logistic regression model and this curve between tpr and apr fpr is known as a uh, roc curve and ideally we would want uh, an roc curve like that the one marked in yellow line an ideal roc curve would be like that so that we can get a threshold the closer the roc curve is to the yellow line the better the roc curve is it because that means uh, we have not compromised too much on tpr but uh, still the fpr uh, we have got is quite low now we have a measure known as area under the curve and area under the curve is nothing but the area under the roc curve which is the shaded area represented by a green line it's also known as auc and we can see that auc lies from 0 to 1 and for the yellow line the auc is 1 and higher the auc the area under the curve the better our model is and hence it is one of the metrics to distinguish between or perform the metric or measure the performance of a classification model and i hope the roc curve and the auc is now clear to you I hope you like this video. See you in next video.